Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And AP. And today we are playing through Call of Duty the Board Game. We're going to be diving into the very simple version. There's a few ways to play this game. We'll talk about some of the differences at the end of it. But today we're diving into the most basic, bare bones, entry level uh, version of Call of Duty the Board Game, just so you can easily track everything that's going on. Uh, it's worth noting that, uh, that Arcane Wonders over here, they did sponsor a preview. This is not a sponsored gameplay. I don't believe they know I'm doing this. I just want to play this game and I think it's a fun time. So I think, well, let's go ahead and dive into it. Anyways, uh, you already know the basics how to play. I've played this a few times. You've played half a round, <laughs> if that much. Two battles, and I got left uh, in battles. the mud. <laughs> well, you, you you killed me the first battle. No, Did you you destroyed oh, me. You had both. the flag, yeah. Yeah, I had the flag both times. I was doing yeah. this slow and steady. You know, yeah, didn't win. We are playing to seven. The points. rabbit one. Oh, and also worth noting, everything you see here is a prototype. Rules and components subject to change, and I'll have a link to the crowdfunding campaign down below. We are playing to seven points today, so whoever gets the first to seven, every time you kill someone, you're going to get a point, and whenever you control the flag objective at the end of the round, you're going to get a point as well. That's going to be how we're trying to get points. Past that, we'll kind of walk you through things as we do them, and to that end, we're going to go ahead and put our heads down and start planning out the first round. So you should be able to see everything on our screens over here. Uh, we should not be able to see everything on our screens. And now we're going to start the process of planning out exactly how we want to do this. So I think we're going to go ahead. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I believe. I believe that I'm good to go. I need a moment because, you know, I want to win. Oh, no. Winning's overrated. Is it? Is it now? No. Winning is everything. It's all about winning. Now, in the game, effectively, what we are doing is we are planning our actions on this board. We are going to resolve our four actions simultaneously as we go through the next steps. So we're going to have a degree of trying to see and, and outthink what your opponent's going to do. We are playing the simplified version of the game, so we don't have a lot of things you'd have in the full version. We're not going to have kill streaks, which if you've played Call of Duty, you know it's a huge part of the game. Do you know what kill streaks are? No. Okay, kill streaks, pass me the hand of cards. Kill streaks, just to give you one example. Well, throughout the video, we'll talk about different things you could be adding to the game. But uh, over here, we have kill streaks, which is if you had gotten three oh, kills. Know. So once you get three kills over there, and it doesn't have to be in a row, unlike traditional Call of Duty, once you get to three kills, you now have this card, and you can put down a kill streak marker as one of your actions on the board on your private planning, and then resolve a kill streak card. There's a few kill streaks. We have the RX, R, C, K, X, D, and the airstrikes, and those nice. would be part of your action you resolve. We don't, we don't have those in play, along with a bunch of other things that we don't have in play. But with that, are you ready to resolve action one? I'm scared, but yes. Action one. So I went ahead and I charged forward to this zone with action one. Uh, my guy's over here. He's going to do a charge. Oh, do a sprint. A sprint. A sprint. Nice. Sorry, not a charge. A sprint. Action two for me is heading down this way. This is action two. Facing this way? Yep. Ooh, wow. Petrified, petrified. Okay. Action three for me was probably misplanned, depending on how things go. But three for me involves me going this way. Now, what did you... I sprinted this way. So the question is, where did you go? I went here. Okay, so right about now, so uh -oh. we are going to resolve right now. I, I won't fully finish out my sprint over here because we are interrupted in the middle of the sprint, uh, but action three is going to have me sprinting towards him, and uh, now we're going to shoot each other, except I'm doing so at a disadvantage. So we're going to immediately see combat very, very quickly in this game. This. So what's going to happen theory. is combat is a technically 11 steps, but it's very, very simple. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your marker on the middle of your aim track. Because we are in close combat, you're going to move your marker to your lower combat bar down here. Nice. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to check any modifiers. We are both aiming down the site. So we're going to go ahead and move down. We're both like uh, facing the person and we're shooting the person. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to ignore that plus damage. Neither one of us has a defense over there. So we don't get that. I move my marker one back because I was sprinting doing this process. And now we choose our cards exactly oh this is this is intense i'm gonna go with this and then i am going to choose the seven die okay to make up and now we choose we secretly choose our various dice that we want to utilize over here which is going to be a part of it over here so we're going to figure this out oh oh my gosh i I feel like mistakes have been made, but we're going to go for the best over here. So a big part of the game is trying to uh, correctly try to predict what you think benefits you depending on, well, what cards you're in play, how things are going. Neither one of us was wounded or have defense, so those aren't modifiers you see yet. But we're kind of going through that process of seeing how we kill each other or don't kill each other, as the case might be. It's also worth noting, currently the flag is blue temporarily because he just stepped onto the objective, which means that currently is uh, favoring him. 
Okay. Are we you don't. Ready to go? We don't show our cards. We show our card when you're ready to show your dice. I'm ready to show my dice. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and resolve our card. My card is a precision strike. I can get up to 15 damage if I can get this all the way to the red. Okay. I didn't even bother getting up to the red. <laughs> and so I a swift attack. went all blue. I went all uh, green with three blue. So we're gonna see. Oh, that's not a roll. But you need the blue. I need the blue, but I don't like your greens. And I roll terribly. I, I get one blank over here, but I did get... Okay, so we're going to resolve the following. Let's go ahead and resolve things one at a time. You have more speed than me. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to move eight. one more yeah. on that track. One over. Okay. Then we're going to resolve one at a time. I currently have five, and then another five, ten, eleven aim. And you have one, two, three, four, six, six defense. So I move up five on my aim track. One, two, three, four, five. At least I got to orange. All right. And then you rolled... One, two, three, four, seven, nine. You have 10, 10, 11 yep. against my nothing. So you move up 11 on your close combat track. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Down to red. That's good for you because you're going to get. Yes. So now because you're in red, you're going to resolve your 10 over here. Plus you have, where are you on there? Um, seven. Seven, yep. So your 10 and seven is 17. So your full attack damage is 17 right now. Mine is 10 because I did get to orange over here. So I got to orange, 10 plus two is 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 damage to you, which does mean that you have 17 to my 14, which means I am dead, unfortunately. But on the upside, you are wounded because whenever you're within five of your opponent, they are wounded, which means he's gonna take a double wound which just basically means that he's shooting at a slight disadvantage in future combats, but it will reduce by one, although if I lose the next combat and within five, I'll kill you as well. This is just if you're behind a barrier? Correct. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, that's it. And now you have a choice whether you want to continue resolving all your actions or whether you want to stop. I, I think I'll stop okay. at this point. So you get one for going ahead and killing me, and you get one for uh, controlling the objective. All right. Respawn rules are as follows. That's round one. You just saw round one. I've been mercilessly slaughtered over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and update my private mini board behind the screen over here while I try to plan things out. Yeah, let's do that. This is a fast game. This can be a fast game. It depends. That you, can you can choose a number of points. You can play a bunch of things. So, it's just so intense. We talked about kill streaks already. <laughs> kill streaks are just one of many factors you could have in the game. And I know he's there. Now, I cannot spawn within line of sight of either the operator or the objective. In this case, they're the same zone. So I cannot respawn here or here. I can respawn anywhere else. And also, at the end of combat, you draw up one more card. So you draw a character hand size. Again, we're playing with the uh, basic mode over here, so we're not playing with any of the advanced cards. Uh, in the advanced mode, we'd have a bunch more cards in play. So you'd have all these cards, AP over here. You'd have all these cards in play, which give you different things. Nice. So you have these. One of the things you'll get is you'll get tokens. So this card could be used as a card in combat, but you can also use your activation token over here to gain two a sight doing an action. So you can start planning additional actions uh, in terms of having more options and flexibility. Right, I was trying to figure out what's the benefit of staying still versus moving. The basic game gives you a lot more options. The advanced game gives you a lot more options of staying still, of things you can do. Right. In the meantime, I want to try to kill you, as you might expect. I have to try to think through that what you awesome. to do. That was absolutely awesome. Okay. Yeah, because you won this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have to think where you're going to go in order to think where I'm going to go. Hmm. Okay. I think, I, I think I'm ready to plan out my actions over here. Okay. I'm ready, 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 ready to go. Oh, it's fascinating. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Let's try not to look over there. Nothing. I'd not see anything. So revealing. <laughs> Didn't see anything. We're all good. Okay, um, let's go ahead and show people the top cameras so that can actually see us planning. Okay. Um, I am. I have resolved my actions. I'm good to go. You resolved your actions. Well, yes, that's, that's what I said. I said I resolved my I actions. Far. I was hoping to get 15 damage in that precision strike card. I was very excited about it, too. Okay, let's hope for this. Action one goes ahead and resolves. Action one. My action one is to spawn and spawn alone. I am spawning over here. Resolve your action one. Okay. Action two. Go ahead and resolve your action two. I'm over 
here. Okay. Action three for me is going to be a sprint over here, followed by jumping over here and facing backwards. Do I still have the flag? You still have the flag. Well, not anymore. Now, at this point, you lose it. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I'm facing backwards. Hmm. And then no, action a... four for me is jumping over here and facing this way, which means if your action four is jumping over here, you have line of sight to me. Okay. I have line of sight to you as well. Are you facing me? I am facing this direction. That's going to be me. So you're going to have line of sight to me because of the red lines of combat. Uh, you'll also have defense. I will not have line of sight to you, which means I have a flag, uh, but you currently have a combat that favors you. I'm okay Plus with side, that. you're wounded. Okay, so a few things are going to happen here. We're going to, once again, reset our combat meters. Uh, this is not close combat, so we're going to be using our higher combat lines over here. Uh, you're going to, first things first, resolve all actions, so you move forward two on your aim track. So I move forward two on yep. the aim track. Uh, you're going to also have uh, defense, so give yourself two defense. <laughs> oh, that thing is falling down over there. Yep. Not that yep. it matters now. No. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and uh, I believe that's it. Nothing else. No. Well, I have a negative. Oh, you have a negative modification because you're wounded. So move yourself down one of the aim track. So I'm back to two. And then we're going to go ahead and look at our cards and dice. So now we choose our card and die, revealing okay. them as necessary. Because now I need to figure out what I want. This is going to be interesting because we want that. Do we think we're going to get that or do we think we're going to get that? I agree with you. Okay. Okay. We are. I think we're. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think for a second. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. All right. I picked my dice. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So I have these dice over here. And a card. So I'm doing fast maneuvers over here. Make sure your card's in sight over here. Oop. So fast maneuvers, I'm gonna get, well, let's go ahead and roll. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I got a six. Beautiful. I have a horrible roll. Yeah, that was me last turn. All right, currently, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speed. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven speed, so I get the speed modifier. Boom. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and resolve the rest of it. So I currently have, uh, I have two attack to your. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not good. That's great for me. I'm gonna critically miss, unfortunately. On which means else. I will not get any of those benefits. That's really bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and get the following. You're gonna get um, one, two, three to my one, two, three. So you're also going to critically miss. Yep. You're also going to critically miss because I have way more defense than you do. So we're both critically missing, which means at that point, the red dice don't count. The combat move, card doesn't count. I move count. up a plus, by the way. Uh, yes, you do move a plus. Okay. Which means, what's your current attack? Oh, I also have my plus two defense. Did you oh, count you, that? Uh, I don't think it matters because I, I was already, get, I was yeah, already, yeah. already well over. I critically missed already. So I have a four. Four. And I have a two, which means I did, uh, and you, you did. I die, and then because you're wounded, you die as well. We both go up a track, and I unfortunately this goes away, and we're both dead. Okay. And do we get any points? No. Nope. Nope. Our cards are gone. That was a. Uh, Anticlimactic, both dying, dying over here. It's an important... Uh... We drop a card, and we get to respawn anywhere that's not within line of sight of the objective. Okay, and we're both off that board. We're both off that board entirely. We're going to move uh... into round three over here. Round three is happening. Okay. So you can still... Uh, still uh, this is going to be happening the entire I can year. tell. I can tell. Okay. I should okay. have anchored it a little bit better. So where, so where do I think you'll go? That's the question. Okay. Okay. Almost ready. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm ready. Do I pick my starting direction also? Yes, all of it's picked. Okay. Let's see. Ready if to we, go? Yeah, let's see if we spawn in the same location. Okay. Um, actually, I, I, it could be. I actually haven't had that happen yet. Let's find out. Okay, I spawned up here. I question doing that. Okay. Um, I spawn here. Okay. Right now, neither one of us is line of sight to each other, so we're both fine. Uh, we go ahead and resolve action two. Action two is going to have me moving down over here, looking down this line, which oh. does not bode well for me. I totally messed that up. What's your action two? What do you do? I put the sprint to the wrong location. Uh, do what you intended. Yeah. To. Don't okay. Worry about that. Yeah. It it ended up here like okay. this. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. My action three is going to be wandering over here. Okay, which means I am about to shoot you with looking down the site. Yeah. Okay, uh, then we're going to go ahead and start set our meters. So it's a, not a close combat fight. Uh, I'm going to immediately move up two on the attacking track, and then you're going to go ahead and get nothing, no bonuses, and then we choose our cards. Oh, okay. we draw up to three. Yep. Been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. I wish I could be the perfect daughter, but I keep coming back to the water no matter how hard I try. I'm ready. Me too. Okay. Let's go ahead and resolve. Yep. Okay. I got that card, steady shot. I'm going to move up one on the aim track to seven. And then I rolled the exact same distribution of dice as you did. Okay. So let's go to resolve this one at a time. My speed is currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is your speed? Um, six, seven, eight, nine. You move up one on that track, unfortunately. Okay. Then uh, damage-wise, I currently have a one, two, three, four, five. I have a five to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I move down four, which means I critically miss. Okay. Okay. And you currently have four against my two, three, two, which means I believe you also are going to move down four and critically miss, which means I believe it comes down to exclusively the tracker. I'm at seven. You are at two, which means you die. Um, and oh, I go yeah, down I go two wounds. Up there. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. going to be that reaction there. Uh, we both critically missed. We don't resolve those cards. And then I am going to choose to continue to resolve my turns, which fight. means I'm going to sprint over here, uh, getting that over here. And then end over here facing this way. Okay. And yeah. you are currently dead. You get to restart and respawn. And I go up two points this round for killing you and ending with the flag. It's a much better round. We're now three points tied. We've both gotten uh, two kills. We've both gotten a flag control, which means it's time to try to outthink each other, draw up a card, and uh, prepare for the next round. Time to think through where you're going to spawn, where you're going to spawn. Okay, next thing we'll talk about before we do that is we'll talk about items over here. So items are another thing you can add to the game. So items would require you to use an item token to say you're using it, but you could toss grenades at people instead. You could draw proximity mines. Ooh. So you can do things like a proximity mine would would stay there until your opponent detonates there, dealing wounds to everyone. So more ways to kill people, and these are just like some of these starting prototype items we have. Okay, now time to outthink you. You can't start with the line of sight to the flag or the thing, which makes sense to me. So we're going to get rid of my cards over here. And we're going to try to go ahead and predict what you would try to do. I'm ready to go. Hmm. I'm all settled. I'm used to my tracks over here. I'm trying to think what you would do. I Get in your would, head. I think you would do this. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. 
There's a lot of double think and triple think and quadruple think. This game is the very definition of why farm, the wine in front of me. We also haven't talked about companions in the game, which they're not actually called companions. They're called, uh, they're called recruits. Recruits are ad additional people you can have on the map swarming around. So you can play this as a full multiplayer experience. You can have two versus two, three versus three. But you can also have little side recruits that go on the board and wander around helping you out. But in the meantime, go ahead and resolve your spawn as your first action. Beautiful. Um, for me, action one is going to be running down here. Action two for you. Uh, okay, but my action two takes me over here, so I'm now out of your line of sight. Action three for both of us. My action three takes me over here. Sorry, it takes me there, that way. And your action four. And my action four is going to have me going over here. Which means I believe at the end of this round, I get a point for controlling the flag still. And now we move to the next round. You okay. Look, you look annoyed at that. No, no, no. Okay. It's good. It's good. You, cool. you, you played had, me on that one. We had a round of no combat. It's bound to happen eventually. Let's see how things continue as we move into our seven point game. Okay. Hmm. Tricky part is thinking through how he operates. I'll just keep shuffling the pieces so you think I have like this great plan going on. Yeah, that works, that works. I am ready to go. Ready to resolve. See, the thing is, his main goal in life is to make sure that I don't understand what he's doing. That's his main goal. Which means I have to do what is obviously the clear move because that's what he thinks I for sure won't do. The important thing is to keep saying these things while he's doing stuff. Because in reality, I actually planned around the, the weird move that makes no sense okay. to do. Okay. Yep. So I'm, I'm hoping you didn't, but I wonder if your first move was to sprint into this corner. I did sprint. Yes. But not into that corner. Okay, let's resolve. My first move is to sprint down here. Which means I can't see you. My second but move... But do you catch me during sprinting? No. So because the sprint... Well, the sprint would be over here. Uh, okay. And it's the sprints resolve at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and go here for my second move, facing that direction. Yeah, and I'm going to go here, which means I get the flag. You do, unfortunately, get the flag. My third move is going to have me going here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Your third move is... And my fourth move has me going here. Oh, so now what? Because I'm facing here. Are you in my space? Yes. So we're simply close combat in our space, shooting each other, both dead on center. Okay. Whew. Well, um, oh, at the end of the last round, I, my wound should have gone down to one. I, my wound speed is down to zero. And then we should have down to zero at this point. Okay. You lose a wound at the end of each combat, and the first round of combat, I would have lost a wound. The second round, I would have been down to zero. Okay? But this is the second one. No, the first round, I would have immediately lost. I would have immediately gone down to one. And the second round, we had no combat. I ran around entirely, so now to zero. Which mm -hmm. means we both immediately advance our trackers to two. We both put ourselves on the lower track. I cannot believe we ended in the same spot over there. <laughs> uh, we both go ahead and neither one of us sprinted to that last location. So we are both basically on two forward, and that's it. No wounds, no adjustments, and we choose our card and our dice. Oh, let me see. I need another card here. Uh, we're going to do that. Mm. We're totally going to do that. Yeah, the basic cards are okay, but honestly, the advanced cards are where, really where the fun's at. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Um, am I ready? Am I ready? That's the question. Okay, I'm ready. Um, I need one more second, because I might switch. Take it up. I might switch something here. Yeah, let's switch this for this. And this. 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 Okay. Okay. Yep. I'm ready. Me too. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's roll. Let's roll it out. Ooh, I got good rolls. I got good rolls. 
So right now, a few things are going to happen. Uh, first of all, you immediately put a buffer of two defense on yourself. So you can uh, put that two defense. Oh, no, sorry. Ignore what I said. Right. Ignore what I said. Uh, we don't have any modifiers over there. I currently have four, five, and five plus three. So I have 17 against your defense. Oh, no. So you have modifier speed. So you move up one of that track. Yeah. Okay. My 17 defense goes against your two, two, three, seven. So I move up 10 on my track. So I go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Okay. Uh, then you, sir, have... And you nail me over there. Yeah, you have five plus uh, six for a total of 11. So you move up 11 on your track because I have no defense. So we're over here also. One, no, you start, uh, no, you start right. there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we're both going to be in our red zones. Your red zone is going to be 10 over here. Mm -hmm. Plus what's your track currently at? My track is at seven. Okay, so you have 17 total. And I'm going to be at 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus um, 10 is 21 plus 2 is 23 to your 17. So I'm at 23 to your 17, which means not only do I kill you, I, also, I don't take a wound either. Yeah. Okay, you only take the wound if you're within 5, which I am not. So currently, um, that's going to be a point for me. And this flag goes immediately back to neutral. Woo! Well played, well played. Thank you very much, thank you. Okay, I'm going to shuffle my cards to be able to draw up another card. And uh, you get to respawn within, not within the line of sight of me, or within yeah, the... Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. Remove our dice. And continue to the next round. Where I think through how you're going to outplay, or attempt to outplay. Hmm. Okay. Also worth noting, on the other side of our special ability people, we actually have, this is where we track our kill streak, and you have a special ability. So your ability would be, so a few things. First of all, you'd have additional, you often have additional, oh, your, your weapon, on the weapon advanced side, you would have additional uh, modifications. So for example, your weapon would say that you have multiple sprints, and you have a reload token. Nice. You have different uh, attributes over there. But then additionally, we have your own things over here. So you have stealth tokens, sniper, stack tactics, and your attack gains plus if an opponent is not facing you. So Simon's, Simon's ability is you like to sneak up on people. Nice. Versus General Shepard, just starts with a, uh, a revolver he can use in combat. Okay, I need to plan what I'm doing now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need to think. I, need to I have think. no clue what I'm doing. It also can't be one away from the flag, you said, right? Correct. So you cannot have line of sight of me, and you cannot have line of sight of the flag. It's not just one away, it's line of sight or... Line of sight, basically. I can't have line of sight of, sight of you. Or the flag. Okay. Okay. I am good to go. No rush at all. Everything's changing. See, whole ground is fun. You have to avoid wounds in combat. Are you ready? Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and resolve the first thing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retreat like a little coward into this corner. My cowardly retreat worked. I'm going to, for my second action, wander over here and get ready to uh, blast. Okay, and for our third action, unfortunately, I'm going to sprint for my third action. Are you sprinting right now? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately, depending on what you do, there we go, I'm caught. Okay. So unfortunately, uh, I am caught in the line of sight right now, which means a few things are gonna happen. We're gonna first advance two on this track. We are in close combat. We're advancing two, and then I'm going to go down one because I'm sprinting. Yep. Okay. And then I have to draw a card for this. I'm in. We're on the lower range. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Hmm. I'm ready to go. Maybe I'll do this, this, and this. Okay. Likewise. Okay. I have my seven dice. And we're going to go ahead and blast off. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, that's good. Wow. Okay. So a few things are going to happen here. I'm going to die is what's going to happen. But basically, uh, okay, so we're going to resolve instant effects. No instant effects. Speed is you're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You go up one on your track. Okay. Then your attack power is a total of eight to my two defense plus two defense is four. Oh, this goes towards this type of shoe? Yes. Nice. So you currently have eight to my four defense. So you move up four on your track. Okay, and I currently have four to your uh, seven defense, which means I move down three and critically miss. So I'm going to be doing two damage as my attack, and your attack is what? Uh, actually, four. only four plus tw uh, eleven. Yeah, that's more than a more than five ahead, which means I'm unfortunately going to die, and you will go ahead and get a full point, plus. and you're going to get a point at the end of the round as well. We'll give that. We'll deal with that in a second. Yep. But what you can choose to resolve the rest of your turn or not? Is there any reason not to? Uh, generally, it depends on the positioning. Depends on where you are. I will resolve the rest of my turn because the rest of my turn is I sprint back here and go like this. I okay. want to make sure I allow to do that sprint here. Yeah, you can face back. any direction. Yeah, yeah. The sprint has to be facing the direction you're heading to. It's the only time you have that that restriction. Right. Okay. Time to set up and figure things out. Figure, figure, figure things out. Okay. Now you need to come on the board. Okay. Oh, don't forget to draw a card. Your prior yep. cards. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, having two sprints really clears things up a lot. Yep, yep, yep. It does. Okay, I'm ready to go. I need to do more. Everything's changing. Okay. All right, resolve combat uh, aspect one. My first thing I'm going to do is going to pop up over here. Okay, and you hear the irony? Yep. Just like that, not even facing the right direction. What are you facing? Facing this way. Oh, so I'm going to shoot you in the back right now. That's awesome. I love it. So right now, we're going to set up. Uh, you are not wounded, so you don't get to go down there. I'm going to move up two on this track. Uh, you sprinted, so you go down one as well. It's on the sprint? Yeah, you, you sprinted, right? Yeah, I got yeah. sprinted through the main. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and go down one there. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, choose our cars and our dice. Second, we will do this one. Okay, I'm yep. ready. Likewise, I've chosen a handful of uh, dice and attacking over here. So I'm gonna roll ahead and resolve. Nice. Okay, so you're gonna go up one speed. Okay, so move up one on your speed track on your aim meter. Then we're going to go ahead and resolve these over here. So I have 8, 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 3 is 17. 17 against your 2, uh, 4, 6, 9. So 17 against 9 means I have 8. What? You have 9 total, don't you? 9? Oh. 9, you have 9. Yes. Yep. So I have 17, so I move 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, perfectly in thread. Okay. That's uh, you are going to resolve 1, 2, 3, 6. Uh, you're moving up 7. Seven against no defense. So you move up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then I'm going to add my four plus my seven is 11 plus my seven is 18. And I get eight. 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 So I believe you die. And I go ahead and move up one over here. And then... Um, the flag is nobody's. The flag? Well, the flag of the round's not over, my friend. Oh, you're getting it still. Yeah. And I believe, I believe that's going to involve you being dead. 
And then I'm going to finish uh -huh. out my round and go charging into here. Um, and then moving over here and moving over here. And that's going to leave that for me. And I go to seven. And that is a short seven point game. Ah, uh, brutal, brutal ending. Uh, ah, yeah. shot in the back. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Call of Duty. That's the basic intro game to Call of Duty. There's a full advanced manual as well with a whole bunch of other things. There's going to be more characters, each with their own ability. There's more weapons, each with their own stats, the dice adjustment, uh, the way the tokens are, different things like that. There's going to be a bunch of items that are in, again, the base game as well as expansions. Like I said, I'll have a link to the crowdfunding campaign down below. So you have all these extra cards over here, which are just different cards that's shuffled in, and you get abilities that will be useful. So different distributions of things. This one avoids wounds in combat. That one has three speed. Wow. We have uh, this one over here that's ignore enemy cover. So if you know you're trying to like go against somebody who's definitely hiding behind pilots, it's a great way to like just bypass that. Nice. So you have extra abilities. We have uh, you have your actual your kill streaks, which right now there's just the airstrike and the RK, RC XD in the uh, the base game, or at least the prototype, I should say. And then we have all these various items you can use. So you know you have uh, what's the name's pistol, General General Shepard's pistol. If you engage an enemy at range zero, discard this card and immediately deal two wounds. So you can place that over there and immediately have that option over there. So you have different tools. This one does not require using your item token. Some of these will require you placing your token down into your action. So you can toss a frag grenade and dealing a bunch of damage. And especially if you're playing against a 2 versus 2 or 3 versus 3, there's even more impact. Your proximity mines will go boom. So leave them where you think your opponents are going to be scattering into your zone. And then you have recruits. So a whole bunch of extra things you get. And of course, additional maps as well, depending on what you get. But that's a taste of Call of Duty the board game. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the board game. I'll link to everything down below. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. AP. And have a good one.